Hello, everybody. Um, gonna show a little bit of info on how to make a kind of a drum and bass style 808 bass today um, using Audio Tool and using the Machinist from within it. So, let's get started. Uh, obviously, we need to grab a Machinist. Um, so, um, basically, what we're gonna do with this is um, we're gonna find an 808 kick drum sample um, and then we're basically going to use the modulation. Now, modulation means that when you click a button here and you have it play the you know whatever rhythm pattern that you want it to play you can click and drag your mouse cursor up and down and increase or decrease the brightness of that light so that brightness corresponds with this row of knobs down here at the bottom so whichever ones you have turned up that parameter will change depending on the brightness of the light that you select um, or it'll go in the opposite direction for example if I want it brighter equals louder then I just leave that there what if I want it brighter equals quieter well now I can turn the knob to its opposite level and let it do that okay I'm actually not gonna have this affect the volume um, so I'm gonna crank that up on this particular slot and the, each slot has its own settings so if you see I clicked on the next one and now that knob setting goes back to its original place, okay? Which is kind of cool. Every single sample can have its own settings and stuff. Uh, really, really unique and really powerful. So, uh, so let's find an 808 sample. Click our sample tab, and I just search for 808. Now, a lot of stuff is going to come up, um, not just kick, uh, but a lot of different things. So, um, we're looking for a one-shot sample. Um, that's pretty good. Uh, a lot of decay is cool. That one's got that really low sub, uh, but not a lot of like extended. I actually like that. That actually sounds more like um, a tone. No, let's not do that again. Uh, yeah, not a kick. Let's stick with this. Let's grab this. Heavy 808 S. 808s. Okay, anyways, uh, and we're also going to crank the tempo up because uh, uh, this is kind of aimed at maybe like drum and bass production. So 175 BPM sounds like a good place to start. Um, and then see, I don't need that. I'm going to ditch that. Uh, so, okay, what do we do? Uh, first thing we need is a rhythm. So if I just hit play. Not the most exciting thing, okay? Because in drum and bass we're going so fast, um, we we probably need a bass pattern that's longer than one measure, okay? Um, because it'll become really really repetitive when your beat is one two three four one, and you'll just keep keep hearing the same thing. It's just it's just way too fast, okay? Um, plus, we we need that that you, if your rhythm is that incessant or dense or like it just keeps hitting um, with some really loud bass like that. Um, we, we just kind of need to give your ears a break. Um, it's, it's a hard thing to experience, but if you want to make a pattern that's one measure long and listen to it at like 170 or 180 BPM, uh, you'll probably hear it, okay? It's, it's too fast, it's too much. It needs to be spread out a little bit more, okay? So uh, how do we do this? Well, the um, easiest way is to change the length of your pattern. Uh, if you want it two measures, then you go 32, okay? Now the machinist will go up to 128, so it's like, um, each of these range buttons is 16, so this is 1 through 16, this is 17 through 32, you know, and so on, um, up to 64, and then the 8 goes up to 128. So you have to think, if you're going to do a really long pattern like that, then you have to kind of think in, like, compartments or whatever you're editing. It can be really complicated. I would recommend, though, starting on beat 1, definitely. Put something on beat 1, okay? Um... Let's get a loop too. While we're here, let's get a drum loop. Um, and I'm just going to put drum, okay? And notice that my tempo here is at like 120. Um, I might actually go a little bit slower, go 300. No, that's not, not what I typed. No, I wanted 90. 90. Okay, so why 90? Um, Time to get. Oh, that's so annoying. Uh, Maybe. Uh, 
let's let's throw that in here just for kicks and we'll see how it sounds um, and then once we look a little bit more maybe we'll come back oh actually I like that that's kind of cool see you know originally this stuff comes from like uh, you know old school like soul records or you know rhythm and blues albums and stuff and so people were just taking these samples from them and speeding them up and so you crank that up to kind of cool that last little snare reverb -y. it's kind of cool all right let's go with that all right seems like that works it's a little weird maybe uh, not perfect but It'd be kind of interesting to like layer these two actually together. It'd be kind of kind of a neat thing. So let's do that. Why not? And then we'll just drag this out and copy it wherever. There. Okay. So now we got. And then we can take one of them and we can let's take all the bass out. see the um, you want to see what it fits into okay you know you're, you're creating an element of this um, and it's like a puzzle piece you know so if you don't see the rest of the puzzle ie if you have a little foundation of drums how do you know how it's gonna sound you, you, you don't you're just kind of guessing so um, and I always tell my students is you know start with the drums and then add the bass later on and see what happens so let's try it let's do a little bass um, so bass we want beat one <sighs> So, one, two, three, and so like here. One, two, three, two, three, boom. Um, okay. So, boom, 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 boom. Okay. Now, next thing is pattern track. Pattern track. There. Um, and then we're just going to throw that in there, one measure, and every other measure. Uh, no, actually, no, because it's two measures long. So we're going to throw that in there like that. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, now let's solo it and let's play with our pitch modulation. So here's what we want to do we want to look at pitch. And we want to crank that up. And then we want to turn down the overall pitch level. It's just a matter of playing with it, like listening to see how the whole thing is going to actually sound, you know, together. Uh, and let's see, let's find out. So um, as far as what to do in, in here, it's up to you. And then you can do some variations. 
you could have a different pattern that's maybe similar, but uh, maybe different pitch. Um, you can do all sorts of different things. You have to just play around with it a little. You can use the same rhythm and just you know modulate the, uh, the the pitch up and down a little bit to change change basically the notes that it's playing. Um, and again, the cool thing is that this all comes from a a kick drum. Uh, so uh, enjoy, have fun making music. Bye bye.